All right, so getting around Moodle is pretty straightforward once you know a few basic things. So start with the basic things. We have, in this particular example, three columns. These things on the left hand that you see me expanding are called blocks. On the right hand, we have other blocks. Depending on how your school has set up their site and how your teacher has set up their site, uh, you may have some or no blocks. Uh, usually people will end up having blocks on both sides, and so you have a three column layout. So we have the left column here of blocks, we have the right column here of blocks, and then we have the middle column, which are is really the meat of the course, and we can call these sections or topics or weeks, depending on how they're laid out. For this course, we have simply presented this in three modules. Part one up there, and you see the number one here. It tells you which one is there. And then we can go down, and here is part two. So you see the number two, and then you also see there's this label here that says this is part two and has a little more information. And then we have part three. So this is also about course, and you see part three is a bit longer. So we have three sections total, and then here is this four, and this is just called a class cabinet. So this is some additional things that will be used for the course. So you have these three main sections. So it's very important to know how to get around. And one of the most important things is up here, we have what's called the navigation bar or the breadcrumb trail. This tells you at any time where you are. So this says we're in Moodle on this particular server at this school. Sometimes schools will put their name there instead, or they'll say such and such a school Moodle. And then this is the short name for this course. And this is the long name for the course. And your school may have set this up with a different kind of menu or graphic or what have you, but this menu should always be consistently like this. So anywhere you go, for example, I will go into my profile, and notice that up here at the top, the menu is still there, only now it's telling me that I'm in the participants section, and I'm at my profile. So I can click here to go to all the participants, or go here to get back to the main course page. And it's always easier to use this than, uh, than clicking the back button. The back button usually works, but sometimes it causes you trouble. So I encourage you to just use this menu. In addition, these blocks can all be minimized or collapsed simply by clicking the little minus sign. So you can make these go away if you find them distracting or cluttering or it's overwhelming. And you see how the course starts to look really a lot cleaner that way. In addition, down here through your course, you have lots of links. Sometimes those links open in a pop-up window, sometimes they open in a new tab, and sometimes they open in the main window. So for example, here's an explanation of the course layout. We click there, and notice how it's replaced our main course window. Actually, it's opened up in a whole new tab, and we have some uh, pictures that explain each of the sections and the weeks and so on, just like I've been describing. Now in this case, uh, we simply close that tab, and now we're back at the main course page. Then we have something else. We'll here, click this, clicking to the gradebook and common features. Notice this one opens in the same window. We still have our blocks over here on the left and the right. And here is the reading material for you to go into. And it explains how to get to your gradebook and certain things that are available throughout the course. In this case, we just go to our menu to go right back to the main page. So that's the fundamentals of getting around. A couple other quick tidbits. If you only want to see one section in the middle, say we only want to see this number one. You click this little box on the right. See it says show only topic one. We click that and now there's only one and you see two, three, and four are all gone. If we want to get to two, three, or four, we can use the section links here. So I'll jump, I'll click two, and now I'm in section two. Or we can use the drop down here to go to those that are closed. One, three, and four are closed. Two is available. So now we'll jump to three and now I'm in three. And if I want to see them all at once, I simply click back on this, and it says show all topics. We click show all topics, and now we have all of them available. And this is critical. If you have a course that's a 16-week semester or even a two semesters, you could have 20 or 30 uh, things down the middle here. And that's just a lot of scrolling to go to the bottom. So let's say you were working on section three here. You just show only topic three, and there you go. And if you ever want to get to any of the others, you can use the drop down here. Or if your teacher has this block called section links, you can use one of those and you're set. So that should save you a lot of time down the line in getting around.